Welcome to Nickel and Steel, a tips and tricks series for Red Dead Redemption 2 online. I'm Snipe, pull up a spot by the fire and we'll talk all things RDR2. Online mode is different than story mode. This video talks about how horses and horsemanship work online. Maybe you're tired of some of the quick join modes like Gun Rush or Showdown, or maybe you're new to the game and just getting into online. If that's the case, this is the video for you. Experienced players might also find a tip or two that they can use. We are not interested in exploits, we're just talking about how normal gameplay works. If you go in through the story mode and go into the help, you'll see there's a section on horses that as of this recording is correct. In story mode, it'll mention that you can break wild horses and you can, once you've successfully broken them, saddle them and ride them permanently. Uh, this is uh, something you'll see is different in online. Uh, in story mode, Arthur cannot saddle or bond with certain other horses. Now online, you'll see that this changes. So going through the online help, and you'll see here that under the horses section, it mentions a couple things slightly different. You can break wild horses, but you can't permanently keep them. You can't put a saddle on them, and you can't keep them in a stable to get back to once you've logged out and back in. Another one is insurance and vet bills. There's a little information here that talks about the fact that you can kill horses. Uh, there is a way to revive them using horse reviver, but if a horse of an enemy is killed, if you kill an enemy player's horse, there's a penalty that gets taken uh, automatically from your dollar count. Uh, it's a penalty of four dollars at the time of this recording for killing an enemy's horse. Finally, you can purchase a new saddle for your horse. Uh, saddles cannot be removed from dead horses. And hitching. When you hitch horses, there are settings in the online that let other people not touch the horse, but you have to change those settings. Another aspect of the game that changes online is ability cards. Ability cards online, which don't exist uh, in story mode, can greatly enhance your horseback experience. Uh, as a primarily a horseback character, uh, I use two primary cards to help with that. One is the horseman card, which allows you to deal more damage while on horseback. Obviously that's of great advantage. Uh, it allows you to deal more damage to everything, uh, particularly enemy players, uh, but any other target. Also, peak condition. I recommend this card because it also allows you to do more damage when your stamina is above 75%. When you're on horseback, obviously your stamina is usually at 100%. Uh, and if you have to jump off the horse, you'll start with high stamina, so you'll be able to start with good damage even when you're on the ground. So these two cards make for a good combination for horseback riders. Let's take a look at an action clip from my character, Snipe, who has these cards equipped. Uh, here come the wolves, you can hear them. So I switch over to shotguns, dual sawed off with standard shotgun shells. Why do I do this? Take a look at the clip. Look at the range, good range. Three shots, three kills on wolves. Normally with most weapons these would take a couple, three shots. It's by virtue of the fact that I have these cards equipped and these work at the 25-28 range in terms of level. Just for good measure, here's another clip, shows another shot. You can see top right of the screen, it shows the cards active, giving that damage bonus, allowing for a really strong punch from horseback. Another thing to remember online and in the story mode is, it's a horse, it does have a brain. Sometimes these horses are smarter than we are, and they uh, are programmed to read the map better than we can. Here's an example where I come up on a cliff. Notice I stay right on the horse. Turn around, look how high that was. Very long drop. So why didn't I fall off? Because I didn't push forward. I let up off the controller and let the horse take control. Same applies when you're going through objects such as trees. Sometimes the online clipping is a little off, but in this online mode clip, you see me moving. Watch at the end. See that? That was me bouncing off the tree because I let off the control. Here's another clip where I jump. Notice I don't fall off the horse, don't fall sideways. It's because right after the jump, I keep pushing forward with the joystick, but I let up off the X on the PS4 controller. Here's another example of the same procedure. Running forward, pressing X to get some speed. 
doing a little bit of an eagle eye. And as I approach these rocks, the horse slides right past because I'm not pressing X on the controller to try to spur it on. You've done this. You know you have. Oh yeah. Gotta love it. Sometimes nothing you do is going to stop you from failing because the clipping is set up with slipperiness. So clipping is how the game judges collisions. Sometimes in the features on the land uh, that they put into the game, they make it to where you're just going to slip no matter what you do. No matter what you do, pushing, not pushing buttons, spurring the horse, not. So in those cases, just pick yourself up, dust yourself off, remember that part of the map. <laughs> A final piece of advice. It is true that different breeds of horses you can buy have different characteristics. Some are easier to shoot from from horseback because they ride more smoothly. Some are less skittish around gunfire. Uh, if you look at the stats on the horse by doing a show info like I do on the clip, you'll see that there's a handling class at the bottom, but then you've got acceleration and speed above that. Uh, you can focus on upgrading the saddle at first, so stick with one horse, work on upgrading your saddle to get those speed and acceleration stats up, because it won't be until much higher levels that you can get an awesome handling horse. Thanks for watching. If you found anything useful or new in this video, please like and subscribe. I'll watch the comments for ideas for new videos. I hope to get one up a week. Until then, bye for now.